you want to know what is on a credit report when they send it in the mail and you get it you want to know right we're going to look for three main things on the credit report the credit statement the thing you get in the mail the letter yes we're going to look for three main things on that in this video we're going to discuss all three and how important they are for you to know and remember and the first one is the billing cycle the second one is the statement balance and the outstanding balance how to avoid them my name is Ajay Barkley and on this channel we discuss personal finance and how to make money in this world so if that's something you're interested in stick around let's continue on with this video so we're gonna discuss firstly billing cycle and um, your billing cycle basically is whenever you go like to go to walmart and buy your groceries and everything you charge it on your card and you have 30 days which sums up all your purchases and your payments and all your usage that you made on your credit card that consists of your billing side but but the most important date that you need to pay attention to is when your billing cycle closes all right people? because guess what i'm gonna give you a true story it's similar somewhat similar all right i have an internet bill and i was moving moving from a place that i rented and go somewhere else but i i didn't understand the billing cycle as much i called the company and said hey i call and let you know that uh, i want to stop making payments on this internet bill because i'm moving so they told me that i still have to pay because my billing cycle is like the 18 of the month and you know when you're moving from one place to the next it's usually the end of the month so i had to pay an extra bill even though i'm not living at the premises anymore that kind of sucks right so paying attention and knowing when your billing cycle is strict extremely important so therefore if you want to leave or if you know you're going to leave or so for instance you want to stop making payments do it before your billing cycle ends so therefore when the billing cycle ends they can't say they didn't know that you're going to cancel and you're going to stop using their service bear that in mind all right and the next part is your statement balance so this is actually all the payments all the charges all the spendage that you made in one amount so this now this amount is very important look at it people very important pay attention with this now comes with a due date when you need to when you must pay this balance off that's if you want to increase your credit that's if you want a good credit record that's if you want to get higher limit on your credit cards i'm just saying i don't know everybody is different i don't know what some of you guys want but i'm just telling you these are the stuff that you need to know when it comes down to your due date listen doesn't matter if you pay right after the billing cycle ends or during the due date process which is normally 25 days after your billing cycle close. I hope you guys are following me so far. The statement balance, when you get your statement balance, that means your billing cycle has already closed and you're now in the due date duration. You're now in the 25 days duration. I hope you guys are following me this far so with the within this time period you can make multiple payments to lower the balance of the statement balance meaning chopping off cutting down little by little the balance that you use previous month during your billing cycle okay you need to make all your payments are paid in full by the due date and i said it's normally the 25 days after your billing cycle so for in this case we're going to use the 31st of may end of your billing cycle that is the end date of your billing cycle from the second to the 31st of may that's your billing cycle duration every purchase that you made within this time frame this is what sums up your statement balance and your usage okay i hope you guys are following me then after the 31st you have 25 days till until your due date so your due date this is the day that you need to make all your payments and clear it up give the bank back their money and say yes i'm done with that credit card for that month it normally takes like four days which is the grace period so most most times you can actually make a payment to pay it off in full in that grace period too you don't need to wait until after the due date to bring down your balance try to do it before the due date to get the maximum result okay because you still if you wait until after the due date just to bring down your balance 
you're still gonna attract a lot more interest as well because guess what they're gonna use all that time before your due date that amount that you have right there to charge you and these banks ain't playing with you they want your money and we're not gonna give them okay so bear in mind you do that make all your payments before the due date and the best practice is to pay it off in full by the due date or on the due date. moving on to the outstanding balance this is when you actually carry your balance after the due date you follow me so far carry your balance after the due date so with this you you don't have a billing cycle again you just need to clear up your balance some people may continue using the credit card and run up the balance as well but bear in mind you're still going to attract charges and interest on your new purchases for that month as well so you got to bear in mind if you're going to pay it you're going to pay that balance as well but when it comes on to your due date if you can't afford to pay it off in full keynote if you can't pay it off in full make sure you make the minimum payments because your minimum payment actually gives you an on-time payment and that is very important that's 35 percent off your credit score that's what builds up your credit scores on-time payment so i know life happens so if life happens and it happens to everybody make the minimum payment if you can't pay it off in full okay and with the outstanding balance now at least every month when you're making payments don't just pay the minimum payment please don't just make the minimum payment because that's going to take forever try paying more than the minimum payment each time you're paying off if you can't pay it off in full and if you're going to make payments and you have some money even if you have fifty dollars and your balance is like twelve hundred dollars pay it early you know pay it early and it actually helps cut down the balance and they actually charge it day by day interest so therefore if you bring down the balance and it's lower at the starting of the month it will be better for you at the end of the month as well so best practice is if you got some money pay down your credit card balance in a, in the middle of the month you don't have to wait until the due date you don't have to okay it actually benefits you if you pay it before the due date and in the middle of the month or earlier in the month so best practices earlier you pay it within the 25 days the better so with that said people i just want to give you a bonus tip on this please do not i repeat do not use the cash advance that you have on your credit card because whether or not you pay that back in full the bank's gonna charge you a fee for it okay i bet you didn't know that whether you pay it back in full they're gonna charge you so just to avoid that stop giving away your money like that unless it's an emergency that's the only time you should really use that but for now stay away from it. and this video if you are an advanced credit card user i suggest that you watch it i will tell you take care love you all walk good